Hi folks, uh, in this video I want to show you um, the deformer option up here and we're going to be applying some bend deformers to our objects to start manipulating our objects even further. This is a nice technique for creating more organic shapes or more um, natural flow and um, realism to your object. So for the shield I've started to apply some deformers to this which will allow me to uh, bend it in a nice um, uniform way so I'm creating this nice angle to my shield, uh, this nice curvature across this axis and across this axis so we're creating a little bit more complex objects now. Um, what I've done to get to this point is take my, my mirror geometry, my flat um, shield and applied some deforming uh, handles to this to um, start tweaking the shape of it. Now what I'm going to do is just move these out of the way and um, show you how to do this. So I'm just going to select these, move it across and I need to move my shield back up so it's in front of my reference image just so it makes a bit more sense. Okay, um, the deformer tools live up here where it says deform and we're going to go for a bend deformer, nice and simple. Okay, so the bend deformer, what this is going to do is apply um, it's gonna it's gonna almost like stick a rod through the object, so you can see these things here. Um, it sticks a rod in, and then we can decide how much of a curvature we want on our object and which axis we want to uh, that curvature to apply. So let's have a go. If you if you select the object, deform, non-linear, and we're gonna hit bend. Okay. So you see what it does? It puts in like a rod uh, through our object and we can use that to now bend it. So if I come up to the attribute editor at the top here, it's a planned, uh, applied a bend handle, it's what's called a bend handle. Um, so this is bend handle number three because I've got two already in my scene over here on my other, but yours will say bend handle number one if it's the first in your scene. Now, um, if you go to the bend uh, tab here and start moving the curvature, you can see uh, which way it's trying to bend your object. So I'm getting a funny, um, uh, outcome because it's trying to you see it's trying to bend it upwards. We're not after that. We want to change the way this 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 handle is rotating. Uh, and this is the bit that often throws people. So what I suggest you always do is move over to the curvature, start to bend it so you can see which way it's trying to apply this deformer. And then if you actually rotate your your handle in the direction you want it to, you can see the curvature being applied to your object as you move it. And then you can tidy it up and change the rotation um, neatly so it, it's nice and uniform. So let me show you what I mean. So I've, I've applied a bit of a curvature um, to see which way it's working. I don't want it to go this way. I want, I want to rotate this around and move it. So uh, the, the move and rotate tools work in exactly the same way. If I rotate this round, okay, you can see as I rotate it and rotate it this way, look at the handle, don't look at the object itself. If I rotate this now, I can actually start to get the outcome I want. I'm, I'm rotating this handle. So as I move this, um, the deformer is being applied, and you can rotate it until you're happy with the angle that you want it to um, to be on your image, if, uh, on, on your model, if you understand me. So what I, would, what I would do is rotate it so it's kind of uh, in the direction that I'm, I'm after, so you can see, I want to apply. It, oops, I want it to be kind of along this side, and I want it to curve around. So I kind of move it roughly to where I think it should be. Okay, and then if I go to the bend handle, you can see what I've done here. So it's minus 89, 2, 2. So that tells me that I need to round this up to accurate numbers. So this one should be minus 90, 90 degrees, and these ones should be zero. So you can see now that my my bend handle has been applied in exactly the the right axis in the right direction I want it to. Started off life going this way through, I rotated it until it was roughly in place, and then I just tweak these so it's nice and uniform and it's 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 perfect. Okay, let me do it one more time to show you this in action. So again, uh, object selected, I'm going to go deform, nonlinear bend and it's applied another bend handle now, so this is bend 4. Okay, 
So if I go to bend four, do the curvature, and you can see it's trying to do it that way again. So what I'm going to do this time is rotate it, and so it's affecting it around the front. So I don't want it to curve up, I want it to curve this way. So I'm going to rotate the bend handle. Oops. One sec. So let me just get this again. There you go. So I'm trying to rotate it so it's curving in the way that I want it. So let me just turn this curvature down. Okay, I've rotated it now, um, so it's it's affecting my object in the correct way. So I've rotated the curve handle uh, upwards, so 90 degrees, and now the curvature is bending in the direction that I want it to. So if I go to my bend handle three, uh, uh, bend handle, let me just click off this, click off this, let's click on this bend handle one more time. Fiddly. Attribute editor, there we go. So I can see it properly now. Right, what I've done is so this should be zero, and this one uh, should be minus 360, I think. There we go. So obviously, you're working in angles, so 90, 180, 270, 360. Um, you're rotating these manually and then you're tidying them up. That's the best way to use this tool because then you can uh, see the deformer happening in action. And with those set up now and applied in the correct uh, on the correct axis and the correct angle, I can tweak my curvature accordingly and get it exactly how I want. With that bent and, and curved now, uh, maybe just a little bit too much, what you can do is um, click on your object uh, let's click off the bend tool. So I've just got the object selected, okay. And if you do Control D and W to move this out of the way now, you can move it away from this and then apply further modelling to your object without having these deformers attached. So it's a quick way of um, getting it roughly to where you want. And then if you do Control D to duplicate it without the bend handles applied, now you've got a nice uh, new um, shield that is nicely modelled, uh, nicely curved, nice curvature on it, and then you can go in and do your vertex editing and, and make adjustments as you need and make changes uh, depending on what you want to do. So have a go, have a go at applying a bend handle to your uh, flat object, and remember to. Um, apply the bend handle and then apply some curvature on your attribute editor and then start to move it manually, rotate it manually until it's starting to curve in the direction that you want it to and then tidy it up using the uh, attributes within here. A uh, little bit tricky but once you have a bit of a play it does actually start to make a bit of sense.